What's up, Define Strength? This is uh, Thomas. This is the man behind the page. This is the person giving you all the info and the advice of the day and whatnot. Uh, I'm posting this video because, well, actually, this is my first video. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to really get going with all this vlogging stuff. It, it sounds fun to me. Uh, I posted a post this morning on some suggestions on how to grow my page because over the past three weeks, I've accumulated 1,500 likes. That's ridiculous. I mean, thank you. Thank you to all of you. I'm talking to all of you right now. Thank you. That, that means a lot to me because I like helping out everyone. So it's nice to hear that, you know, I must be doing something right. I'm getting all these likes out of nowhere. Uh, I, in that post, I basically left some suggestions on, you know, what I could be doing to making things better or what I should do, what I should start doing, and everyone kind of told me to start, you know, making videos. It was a suggestion I suggested because I have a little camera here that can record a little five minute video. And everyone seemed to like the idea. I don't know where I'm going to go with it. I don't know if I'm going to ramble off of, you know, advices in my day. The little thing I have, I guess, it's just, it's stuck with me. Uh, if I'm going to start having discussions, if I'm going to start answering questions this way, if I'm going to do workouts, if I'm going to, you know, show nutritional stuff. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but for right now I'm in front of a camera talking with all of you, rambling off about making a video. Um, this isn't the best kind of place to do it, I guess. You know, lighting's not that great, it's my room, I have tattered hair, I have like a four-day shaven beard, I'm a little ripped off tee, but I didn't really care because I wanted to show you all just the raw footage of what I am behind all of this. You know, I'm not trying to rehearse this. I'm not trying to look good. I'm not trying to, you know, make myself seem like I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm, I'm powerful. It's, I'm not. I, I'm just an average person like you putting himself in front of a camera and hoping for the best. You know, I could have spent some time thinking about it and I probably would have came up with something tomorrow, you know, showered and just looked better and everything had it better in my mind. But I didn't do that on purpose because... I know me, and I know the average person. You don't ever want to start doing something tomorrow. Okay, I got all these ideas to make a video, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll do it tomorrow morning, I'll do it tomorrow afternoon, I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow was, you know, in my head. I started it today because I knew this would get the ball rolling. I would start doing it. And now that I'm rambling off about it, that's going to be my life advice of the day. This will be a life advice of the day post. Uh, to start today, not tomorrow. Uh, there, There's a quote I heard. I'm not sure who I've heard it from or where it's from. I'm not even sure if it's a quote. But it, it's a little thing where it goes like, Oh, tomorrow. It's a mystical land where 99% of human creativity and ingenuity is to be found. You know, it, it's, it's a little funny quote, and it may not be that the greatest. But when you really begin to think about it, it's huge. You know, because think, when, whenever you're doing something, whenever you want to start something, whether it be a workout program, uh, eating healthier, a paper, <laughs> do you ever want to do it right when you think about it? No. You want to do it tomorrow. You want to say, you know, you're in the middle of eating that bag of chips, you feel bad, so you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to start eating healthier tomorrow morning, or I'll make a food journal to, keep my, to make myself eat healthier. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning comes, you sleep in, you eat, you forget to write down, you... Uh, I, I don't know what the case may be, but then all of a sudden, three hours later, you're finding yourself in the same situation eating that bag of chips. Because in reality, you probably should have stopped yourself halfway through the second you thought about eating healthier and just started eating healthier. Because what happens is we tend to think of our life in little, like, sections, little pieces, and they're all separated from the hopefully eight hours of sleep we're all getting at night, because sleep's important. You know, we kind of think that, oh yeah, it's a new day, it's a new situation, new things are happening, and I'm going to be a new person. That's all, you know, good, but what we forget to understand, we're not necessarily a new person. You know, we don't wake up from eight hours of sleep, and all of a sudden we throw the person we were yesterday, you know, way out of the way. Like, oh, that person sucked. You know, I'm totally not that person anymore. I'm this new person, this new, better version of myself. It doesn't happen. 
It doesn't happen when you sleep. When you sleep, you repair, but you don't become someone new. You know, we tend to think that the new situation, the new day, will then have new motivation to eat healthier, to start that workout program, to write that paper, to do that. If you didn't want to do that stuff when you thought about it yesterday or today, why it's... You're not going to want to when you wake up. You know, you'll still be that same person. It, life is continuous. You do not randomly change within eight hours of sleep. It is continuous, and you are the same person you are. So you need to start today. The second you think about it, the second it comes to your head, no matter what it is, it could be an old friend you haven't talked to. I don't care. What we want to do is just start it. Because we tend to think about things. We tend to say, oh, what's my best option here? What is, should I be doing there? Uh, if this happens, what should I do there? And we all start thinking about it and nothing gets done. When you think about something, it never gets done because you don't just do it. You think of all the things that can go wrong. You don't do it. You just, then you feel like crap because you haven't done anything. It's the next day. You're not better. It's, it's a vicious cycle. So the second you have an idea, you want to do something, no matter what it is, just start it. Get it out of the way and get the ball rolling. That's when you're going to progress. You create your future self in the present. You create the person you're going to be tomorrow, today, not tomorrow. You don't create your tomorrow self tomorrow. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so that's it. You know, that I'm going to stop my rant there because I can go on for hours. Uh, that's my little life advice of the day. Start today, not tomorrow. Hey, life advice of the day. Um, and just to close it off, uh, I would like to say that in light of me doing all these videos and everything, I would love to start being like the kind of people I see on the internet, you know, they get questions from people. You know, people just give them questions and they give their two cents about it, do a video, they rant and ramble and give advice. So if any of you would like to send, you know, messages, questions to me, you know, comments, concerns, quibbles. If you don't know what quibble is, it's, you know, look it up. It's a funny little word. It basically means the same thing as a comment. Um, and just, you know, drop me a message. I will get back to you, you know? I'm not like this huge page with very little free time. I, I have free time. I will see your message. I will get back to you. I want to help you. So uh, that's it to find strength. Uh, this is me. I'm going to sign off. Peace out.